I just want to do a quick video tonight. I just finished uh, hop on with my friend. Uh, we just we were just catching up with each other, and then she told me about the whole story that was happening at her workplace. I followed because I knew that she before she went into the office and then while she's working, she was she has been working there for maybe just half year and then uh, she was very happy uh, before that was exactly what she wants she wanted to she wanted to try to work in the office environment uh, which she never did um, and then now she had exactly what she wants but she's really confusing right now because it was such a small office which is only 20 people and there were there are lots of politics inside and people are like, you like me, I don't like you, you know, I, I will set you up, you know, I, I report you, I poke your back, you know, all this kind of thing. And people are literally, some some people um, depressed, anxiety, like all kind of stuff, like she's, she's facing and she, she told me that she feels her energy is actually being contaminated uh, with all those negative energy. Uh, and in such a toxic environment so which I didn't give her too much feedback I just told her you know to follow what you like to do because of your conditions actually allows you to do what you like to do and the point is do you know what you like to do and she does actually she knows what she like to do should I invest thing or all those things that's a whole story um, but but yeah, uh, the only thing that stopping her to do what she wants to do because first her parents was influence is influencing her uh, what her choices um, and second is um, fear of changes uh, things like that. Um, but uh, what it actually inspired me uh, to think about is like. It is really funny that people are doing what they're doing without even knowing what they're doing. Like I would say 90% to 98% of people I have encountered, they don't know what they are doing. Yes, they know that they are going to wake up at 8 o'clock to go to work. They are going to pick up their kids at a certain time. They are going to, they know that they're going to watch movie, you know, in the weekends things like that they know the schedule they know what to do in order to live to pass time but they don't know why they are doing all this yes I'm doing all this because I love my kids of course I'm doing all this because you know I don't want to stay healthy that's why I do exercise I want I'm doing all this because I, I want to have a secure future I want to retire early this is not the reason behind whatever so it leads to ultimate question is what is the purpose of your life working in the office day in day out and your whole world is like how to avoid conflicts your whole world is how to avoid being stabbed from the back your whole world is like how to please your boss or your clients your whole world is how to sneak slack and then get the paycheck at the end of the month is it really what you want to do? And this is it really the reason you're being born into this life? Is it really? Why some people never ask why? Like they're being born into this world. Like why you never ask that why you have an arm and like a pair of arms and legs and everything is healthy? Or if you don't, why you never have you ever asked why you don't have? Is there a reason behind all this? Have you ever think like just uh, let me give you analogies like goldfish swimming in the tank left to right left to right aren't they boring at all sometimes we ask right and even though there are more intelligent animal like monkey and why they're more intelligent they're more intelligent in a way that maybe they would like they would play sometime they would try to have fun or they would do tricks or they could learn things and we think that they're more intelligent but yet we still think that there was a big gap between us and them and we will still think they are stupid compared to us and what is their purpose of life is to fight bananas and then now imagine there's another life form out there that's much more intelligent than us and look at us play all this stupid thing office politics you know feel upset because of the weather feel like it's the end of the world because I failed my exam or I never go to university 
uh, feel like you know all these all these things like I bet they would be like thinking just like how we th think about the monkeys or the goldfish like these people or these humans are you know aren't they aren't they bored to to do all these silly things like why don't they do something that can make them happier why don't you know why why don't they make some do something that's more fun like, or meaningful like you know in a sense that like we we, we really enjoy doing that's you know that I I understand because I I came from there too. I was one of the goldfish. But at least I was able to ask why. I asked why and and I found the answer. And I believe if you do ask and you put it, it into action and seek and somehow you will get a satisfied answer for yourself. Um Right? Because the answer is made for you, not for anyone else. Before I actually, I judge those homeless people. Like, why aren't they looking for a job? You know, they have, especially those people who are strong or fat, or they have, they have, they are equipped with other body parts, parts, you know, there's no reason they back in the street. And then I watch documentary and then I, I, I think that you know how, what do I know about them? What do I know about them? I know nothing about their life, and I yet I just judge whatever I see, whatever I see right here. So whatever you see, it's just the surface, just what happened at this moment. There is a very thick and long and big story behind the surface that you see, right? It's like a, a TV. You see the screenshot. But you know how much mechanism, how much work is behind the TV? You don't know. You could just, you cannot just judge on that. So what is related to the topic? Because um, sometimes I found that you know if it's if it's if this is what makes them happy, sure. If this is something, I bet actually somehow it may be in in a way in a sense that is better than office politics actually. And if they could make a living, and if they could stand. The, the the lifestyle they're having with what they're doing and and then they don't have to suffer from all this office shit or all those uh, human negativities silliness you know argument hatred resentment unsatisfaction complaints sorry I don't want to throw out these negative word, words but you know just and so all these negative things you know I believe they are the smart one, right? We see people like crazy people, like we define them crazy people. They're talking to themselves all the time and they talk loud, l l like talk loud or they just keep talking, repeat talking to themselves. We've seen them all the time. You know, somehow we, we are the same. We keep talking to ourselves, but we just didn't say it out loud. Our brain all the time, constantly, subconsciously, talk to ourselves that we are not worth it, uh, we are blah blah blah, and we think about all different things, so something happened this morning and we just keep thinking, thinking about it over the whole day. We just didn't, didn't talk it out loud, but it's actually the same thing. We are also crazy. Um, so today actually I have that thought too, genes are you crazy? I, I, have been, I have been asked that if I'm crazy, but you know, that's meaningless to ask me if I'm crazy, of course I don't think I'm crazy. If I am not crazy, and then I would, I don't know, I don't know. But I, I, I ask myself what is different from me to or from those people who talk to themselves or to those people who are really like those crazy people they don't know they're crazy they really enjoy their life they think that they found happiness they think that they the, the, the ultimate right way to live is their way it's not our way so I actually think the same thing exactly I think the ultimate way to live is like now I am, like for me it's like now I am very happy um, like uh, yeah my state of mind is very happy right now but how do I know I'm not crazy I and then I got a conclusion I draw I drew a conclusion is like the only thing maybe is because I could control I could be very myself and enjoy the state of mind here not here enjoy the state of mind I enjoy um, but I could actually come back to connect to the society when like 
like when it's needed when it's necessary so i have the control i guess they don't they couldn't find a balance to connect back to the society back to the world but in terms of the um ultimate states that uh where the the happiness the enlightenment uh stage states i think we are the same actually uh yeah, if you let me, if you ask me to choose, if I want to live like those people who are very unconscious and then the, just to do all this and then not happy and depressed and the whole world will fall down because your orange is too sour, I would rather be become one of those crazy people. This like even though maybe I don't, ha I wouldn't have a good life. I couldn't go to a good restaurant. I couldn't make money. Or maybe I sleep on the street. But I wouldn't even wear wear those to suffer because i was crazy but at least i'm happy just like those unconscious people that are in the office maybe they own an iphone or whatever but they are suffering in a way right so think about it really if you really like feel you, you feel lost and or next step further you are at a stage that you're asking about what is the purpose of your life and then or what's next then this is a topic you really want to ask yourself what 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 is what are you looking for? Of course, everyone is ultimately looking for that enlightenment, um, that stage that you 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 truly happy, like not just happy when the weather is good. You are happy even though the weather is no good. Actually, there's no good or bad anyway. But um, but yeah, ask how to get there. Really, ask how to get there. I believe we are being here in this life. We are being put here in this life. Mm. Is, is to find out how to get there and that the whole process all the people that happens in our life all this uh, problems all the good um, and bad and obstacle everything is designed for you to find find out the way how to get there 